Welcome to another video with another potential anti hair loss treatment. What is the TDM105795? How will it benefit your hair and what is it going to do exactly? Technoderma Medicines, a Chinese company similar to Kintor but smaller, a little bit more niched down only on dermatologic products compared to Kintor which is a bit bigger. They also do oncology, biologic, so a little bit broader, you know, pipeline. With the Technoderma, I mean, at least I hope they will be putting a lot of emphasis on alopecia treatments compared to Kintor that is a little bit more broadly positioned. So that's what I like. Now, looking at TDM105795, and I hope they do something with that name because it's quite long. So they discovered this drug in 2017 and they already accomplished the trial number two, which has been planned for 2023. Uh, they announced the results in 2024, early quarter one. So they're, they're going on time which is great and i like to see that uh similar with kintor and, and the rest of the chinese uh, companies that's usually what they do well they're really on time uh and that's what we like to see we like to see some progress in hair loss industry and have some options next to finasteride and minoxidil very very soon so they describe tdm drug as a so-called thyromimetic and this word already explains it to you pretty much it mimics the function of a thyroid hormone. So it will be a synthetic analog of a thyroid hormone with tissue-specific thyroid hormone actions. Now, if we look at the research that observes uh, how thyroid hormones directly alter human hair follicle functions, like antigen prolongation and simulation of both hair matrix, keratin keratinocyte proliferation and hair pigmentation, we start already seeing how this might be another mechanism of action uh, via thyroid hormone and once this will be targeted well and properly and safely our hair can benefit from it uh, even next to treatments like finasteride and minoxyl because this is a, a new mechanism of action it's not something that finasteride and minoxyl are targeting so that's great so to sum it up TDM105795 accelerates cycling of hair from telogen to anagen, and also it might be activating the WNT beta catenin and hedgehog pathway signaling that is crucial for healthy hair growth and uninterrupted uh, hair growth. They will be also more resilient to hair miniaturization effects of the DHT. Now, some of you guys remember the video maybe I made on 10 possible mechanisms of actions for treating androgenity alopecia and the corresponding treatment that uh, come into each categories. So where would I put TDM? So TDM would come into the category of antigen phase stimulants like minoxidil, but again, having a different way of promoting uh, the antigen phase compared to minoxyl because we know with minoxyl it's uh, they uh, they theorize it, it could be the potassium channel opener and that's the mechanism behind promoting the antigen phase but with uh, the TDM it will be more like the WNT uh, pathway stimulation which again in itself can promote and prolong the antigen phase and that's pretty much the whole story behind it now before we come into the very very promising results of the TDM uh, second trial on humans. Uh, you can also check out the study on mice and uh, pigs, which they conducted in 2020, I think. They published it in 2022. Uh, you can read about how it behaves. Uh, it was the safety data sounds really, really good on this, and they didn't find any issues with the animals. And right now, they published uh, just an article which kind of summed up the results of their second trial. But but I try to make it a little bit more nicer for you guys so we can better visualize it. So we have a target area one square centimeter. Uh, we have duration of four months, a 16 week study and uh, the TDM105795 applied to the three following groups. Number uh, Group number one, uh, I've been using 0.02% uh, of the solution. The second group have used eight times less potent solution which is the concentration of the solution in the second group has been eight times lower. Uh, so that's quite a big difference. And then we had a placebo group. In total, 71 men have been enrolled in this study. And here are the results. So the results, 24.3 
new hairs after four months of applying 0.02% solution, 20.3 uh, new hairs in the second group with uh, 80 times less potent solution of the TDM and the placebo group surprisingly getting 14 new hairs. And, and that's really surprising to see placebo group getting so much, you know, new hair growth. And this also illustrates the importance of having a placebo group included in a study because that will show you that once you believe that the thing that you apply to the scalp is a potent treatment and maybe it's not it's just you know alcohol and propylene glycol vehicle as in this case it will grow your hair because it may trigger some mechanisms hormonal responses in your body that will make you believe and make your hair believe that it will or it can grow and then you get the results now this placebo regrowth is really quite substantial normally you don't see placebo regrowth to be as high if we look at some studies from um, you know just three random minoxidil studies i have found you Usually you see placebo group growing some hairs initially in the first week too, then it stalls and then it declines in the long run. But it usually is around zero, like maybe plus five hairs, plus, minus five hairs from the baseline. In this case, we have 14 more hairs from the baseline that are still being kind of uh, up there after 16 weeks, which is unusual. That's why you should be very skeptical and very cautious when, you know, reading through studies on some different different, um, you know, new treatments uh, for hair loss uh, where the company just publishes their, you know, uh, treatment group data and that's maybe also 10 to 15 more hairs per square centimeter and it sounds ama amazing but they don't have any placebo group in there uh, which would probably also have a similar hair regrowth as we can see in this case so be skeptical about that and to give you a an illustration what this thing could do potentially if again the phase three trial also shows similar improvements this is the potency comparison to finasteride one milligram and pyrolutamide 0.5 percent and uh, uh, in the first column, you can see the treatments, uh, pyrolutamide, TDM, finasteride. The second column is the target area hair count improvement per square centimeter, but is a gross improve improvement. That means it is independent from the placebo group. So again, for pyrolutamide, 0.5%, it will be 22.7 new hairs after six months on one centimeter square of hair, uh, of scalp area regrowth. With TDM, it's slightly more, it's 24.3 new hairs after four months and with finasteride one milligram it will be around 20 in this case i chose 21.1 uh, it's a, an exact value from a study that has been done uh comparing topical oral finasteride and placebo uh so that's the value i got but usually finasteride average is around 20 you know hairs uh, per square centimeter like a hair count improvement and then if we go to the last column you can see target area hair count improvement net that's when the placebo group also uh, comes into play. So I only compared uh, the studies on other treatments that also had placebo groups in there. And we can see that with pyrolutamide, the placebo group uh, got about seven hairs uh, target area hair count improvement after six months. So if we subtract that, we come on to 15.3 new hairs as a net improvement in target area hair count, uh, you know, excluding the placebo group already. Uh, with TDM, it would be 10.3 only because the placebo placebo group had such a strong hair regrowth as well and then with finasteride it would be 14.4 which again you can see where it's very similar here like if you look at pyrolutamide and finasteride their placebo groups had about seven more hairs like a target area hair count improvement after six months respectively but if we look again at the tdm group uh it was like uh, so much which might tell you that the selection criteria or something that had to do with the selection of the subject in the study and the enrollment maybe wasn't done as precisely and that's why we are seeing the placebo group getting such a such a great result i don't know anyways uh, this is just you know this is just gives you a picture of what to expect it is comparable on paper with what finasteride can do with what pyrolutamide could do unfortunately that's uh, but unfortunately as we have seen with 
with things like pyrolutamide, what seemed to be like an amazing uh, accomplishment in the trial number two with those 22.7 hairs, uh, you know, regrowth uh, per square centimeter in six months has not been confirmed in the phase three trial, which I reported late 2023, uh, which was disappointing and they did not find any statistical significance uh, with the 0.5% pyrolutamide if we, once they decided to do like a very uh, large sample sample size uh, and large uh, you know sample size of a placebo group too uh, so hopefully this result will be confirmed in the trial number three if they take 0.02 percent solution of tdm because that seems to be the most potent one maybe they will even try to increase it slightly maybe that that could be even you know a, a possibility since if we look about what they have written about this treatment it seems to have a very favorable safety profile and to be well tolerated. Bioanalytical results show that uh, once daily application of TDM topical solution at either dose produced extremely low to no systemic exposure, which is again great, great news. And maybe they will decide to even up the dose a little bit to get better effectiveness. So yeah, that was pretty much it from me for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, for all of you who are interested in my one-on-one -on -one consulting services, check out the link in the video description below where you can learn more about how I can help you navigate the best path Path towards your hair greatness by helping you with finding the best clinics for your specific hair case expectations and budget as well as helping you out with the ideal hair protocol that you can use in the long run that you have no side effects with and thus help you manage your hair loss as quickly as possible without losing more hair so that was it everybody thank you so much for watching and see you soon in another video take care